I think they want to keep Void as fresh as possible so he can keep up breaking up any pin attempt. This is more like a one-on-one -on -one match with a manager outside. I should know, I do plenty of them. But the manager can be tagged in. That's the advantage they have in this one, but they're using that... that uh, manager advantage to keep Marzell in the fray to stop him from getting defeated here. No, oh, wait a minute there. That scoop slam, Manic's foot hit Void's face on that one and knocked him off his perch for a moment or two. And again, Manic takes a shot of Void after turning around in the turnbuckles and ooh, backdrop. Wait a minute, don't get too close there. Wait a minute, look this, STF coming up. And it's got it locked in, but Void again. Manic's got to dispose of uh, him on the apron before he does any, uh, before he tries to go for a victory here, I would assume. Without a doubt. Like I said, Void's going to be watching him like a hawk. He's going to come in on every moment, when every submission and pin attempt, when every, uh, whenever Manic is going to try to win this match, he's going to jump in there if the referee doesn't stop him and get involved. And it's all legal as well. According to the referee so far, anyway. And here we go, finally a tag is made. Here comes Void, which means Marzell, I guess, will be the eagle on the perch, so to speak, to make sure Void doesn't get defeated here. Like I said, this is just going to be punishment for the Freedom Movement member. Wait a minute, cover! Ooh, Manic again. Kicking out with resiliency. He's shown tremendous resilience in this one, but he needs to mount some offense to go along with it. I was I can't see him pulling off any victory here, sadly. And wait a minute. Marzell took it there. And wait a minute. Here's a crossbody on Void. Here's a cover. He could do it here now. It's only a two count by Void. Manic had a chance there. Marzell was knocked off. He's been weakened up a little in this match. Yeah, which means he couldn't get uh, back, onto the, back into the ring quick enough. But luckily he didn't have to. Void showed his resilience and kicked out there off that crossbody. And wait a minute, Void the submission expert locking in that reverse armbar with a great amount of leverage, but Manic somehow rolls through. And oh man, big drop kick though to follow up from Void. Finally you're getting into the night, I can't believe it. Well wait a minute, I'm getting word. Uh, the Void looks in the submission old Manic's gonna tap perhaps. He's focusing in on his arms. Well, wait a minute, I, I, I got word just now on the headset that the Freedom Movement have been fishing around and they've actually been contacted because the mystery partner has been revealed and it is going to be... Oh, well, look at all the clues. L, where's the skirt, and is in the Freedom Movement. It's actually, I've got word, is Lisa. Lisa Simpson. Well, that's, that's a big shocker right there. We thought it was Void. But Lisa is going to enter the main event tonight. But yeah, like I said, the typical anti heroes. It wasn't going to be Link after all. It was going to be someone much weaker. No disrespect to Lisa, of course. And wait a minute. Speaking of weaker, here's a submission hold. Another one. We're just wearing down on on Manic here. He's going to have to tap soon, and he does. Or did he just get choked out? I don't know. I think he just got choked out. Here are your winners, Void and Marzell, the Mention X. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm getting more words now. Wait a minute. Oh god. Right, apparently this Lisa vs. Tails match for the YouTube title is now no disqualifications. What? Oh god, this is going to be amazing. Oh, would you shut up? Lisa vs. Tails and no disqualifications, like he needed it anyway. Yeah, but Lisa can now use that to her advantage. Ugh, things don't look good here, folks. Hey, come on, they're giving Lisa an opportunity at the title. That's not too bad. Yeah, but look at the odds. They're stacked. This is ridiculous. I think it's going to be a great match. They've had a lot of matches in the past. And had some great ones. Because they're both submission experts. It'd be great. Yeah, well, you can look forward to that. But in the meantime, we can look forward to this. We've still got both the uh, matches from Raw available to vote for. The degree of pain for a shadow versus chaos. Will it be tables, ladders, or all three weapons of choice? Tables, ladders, and chairs. It's your, it's your decision, that's your call. 
What's it gonna be? Select a degree of pain. How much does he get to get a ghost through to uh, earn the Intercontinental title in the ASIF? That's gonna be a tough one to decide. Maybe. Or it could be a landslide, you never know. And also, let's not forget the main event, total uh, fan interaction. That's what it is. You can vote for how many participants are in it, you can vote for who's in it, and you can, and for the, uh, a bonus for the forum members, you can vote for the stipulation. But up to forum members only. All the instructions to vote for will be in the video description under this video. So check that up. I've had the banned comments from last time because a few people voted in the comments. You're not supposed to be voting in the comments. It has to be a personal message to me or anyone on the forum. And that bonus stipulation is only available to forum members. Let's keep that in mind. But yes, yeah, coming up next, as you can see, the odds are stacked next in this main event, this anti-hero infested main event. It's going to be completely awful, but we got to go with it. Lisa versus Tails for the YouTube title. And, uh, it's no disqualifications. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your ASF Smashdown main event, and it is for the ASF YouTube Championship, and it'll be contested with no disqualifications. Introducing first is the challenger, from Springfield, representing the Freedom Movement, Lisa Simpson! I really don't see why you think this match is such a bad idea. I love it. These two have had matches in the past and they've been brilliant because these two are submission experts. And they like trying to outdo each other in their submissions. Well, I don't think we're going to be seeing any of that. They're gonna, this is just going to be survival because you never know what's going to happen with the anti heroes They're going to play this completely unfair, unlike back then. And it was a bit more friendly competition, shall we say, even though Tails was still in his evil way, shall we say. But now he's just completely full of himself and he's gonna keep it he's gonna do anything to keep this title and uh, no matter who he's facing, he's gonna do it. And her opponent from Sonic 2, he is the leader of the anti-heroes and the current ASF YouTube champion! Miles Tails Well, can we at least have the faith that you're actually going to call this one down the middle, you know, like call it fair no matter what happens? Alright, fine. I, I mean, I haven't done that a lot in this night, but I don't think people are going to blame me for it, but fine, I'm going to call this one down the middle. As biased as we've both been, and don't deny it, you've been biased. I think this is a great opportunity. I'm not biased with this match. This is a great opportunity for Lisa to pick up the title. That'll be that'll be some history making right there. You know, I'm slightly against that idea, but still, I don't think she's gonna pick it up anyway. But still, she has the potential to pick it up. So start calling down the middle. All right. Well, Tao starts things off strongly by sh shoving himself straight into Lisa or into the ropes and trying it again. He's gonna force his way around here, finding a female for the YouTube title. Not really a candidate in my view, not underestimating Lisa's ability, but she's not, you know, YouTube title material, at least to that standard in the show. And I think the fans would agree with me, this is just completely unfair on, on her part. Dells has uh, walked out successfully of a steel cage match. Uh, I don't think Lisa would be doing that. I mean, I, I don't want to disrespect her, even though she's chopping away here. And actually leveling tails with that, but she counters back. And wait a minute, look at this. Here's a bit of showing off. Tails doing that maneuver as of late, just going around and then Whoa. catching him off guard. But Lisa two. called him off guard here. Whoa! And an early two count already. Surprisingly from Lisa, and whoa, she just got thrown right over the top rope. And now Tails is going to brag about it. And oh man, and he paid for it. They're right there, Lisa, with a huge clothesline. That's one of the hardest ones I've seen. I think I've seen her do. Gee, she's gonna bring out all the stuff. She wants that title. I may be slightly against it. I want Mandy to be the first female to pick up a a title, a world title. But yeah, you know what I mean. I see she has all the potential. Wait a minute, the weapons are out. Tails found a chair under the ring like he needed it anyway. And Lisa goes careening into the barrier there. 
Uh, now, 